young disorder and I will be watching Confronting Racism that was hosted by Bishop Dick. And um, we came up with this idea of showing the movie Selma, Black History Month, at the church and having a discussion of the ramifications of it and how people just felt, and, uh, felt about it afterwards. Growing up in New York, I was used to going in the restaurants, sitting down at the mm -hmm. line, sitting down at the counters, eating what I want to, things like that. So I jumped off the bus and I'm just a runner. <laughs> <laughs> and my mother was like behind me, come here, Alice, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. <laughs> so she caught me just before I got to the door. Mm -hmm. So I looked up and said, what's going on? So she said, you see that sign here? So I looked at the sign. Mm -hmm. And she said, what does it say? Like I said, I'm just beginning to read. So I said, white. And then I said, oh. You know, right. you know, I'm trying to pronounce. Mm -hmm. Then I said, white song. But it still never registered to me what was going on. You know, you see things like this and you can't even fathom how people would want to treat other people this way. Mm -hmm. Where people just shared their experiences and, um, and how they're still experiencing um, racism and uh, segregation today here in New York. I experienced one day when we were driving up Francis Lewis in the car, this bus with all these white kids, and they spat at us, they spit at us in the car. And that's when I realized, wow, it's still around with us. It was very beneficial for people um, who've come from different parts of the country to be able to get together and talk about their experiences at, at earlier times in their lives. And it helps, I think, to keep alive the need for justice.